Welcome to the Puck Drops Here Podcast. I am your host, John Crawford, along with my brother, Howie, here for episode number 22. Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. Hey. Hey, how are you? You're actually looking pretty good. It's been a week now since you're... Uh, yes, it has. It has been a week now since I've been uh, cut open and... Uh, <laughs> You look like you're back to normal. You got a haircut, so I'll slip back. Yeah, hopefully. I'm hoping to go back to work tomorrow, but I'm still waiting to get my um, work release notice. Ah. Fun. So until still... I get that, I cannot go. Nice. Well, we've got a <coughs> uh, big winter storm heading towards us. It's supposed to hit us tomorrow. We did have a little bit of a dusting last night. But <laughs> really, did they shut? The, did they shut down the city again? No, they did not shut down the city. But <laughs> they are preparing for this weekend. We are supposed to get. Uh, get I don't know. Probably. What What are they anticipating? I don't know. It changes here. Now I know. Well, I know that Minnesota is the same way. It would be like oh, a dusting, and then it would be three to four inches, and then it would be. Eight feet, and then it'd be like okay, six inches. Yeah, and and that's how it is here, but it's not in feet; it's always in a couple inches. So we can get. I I I can't even tell you what we're gonna get. I don't know. It could end up just being rain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know, but uh, we're supposed to get some snow. We'll we'll see. Uh, I miss it. I miss it. I just know it'll be messy and everybody be freaking out driving in it. So <laughs> it'll be complete chaos on the roads. You know, and the new you watch the news and they've already, you know, shown pictures of salt trucks and everything just preparing for winter storm 2016, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it, well, at least it's not as bad as the weather the weather out here where it's you know, you you get sprinkles out here and some water about you know one one quarter of an inch of water going down the gutters and yeah. it's super storm <laughs> flooding sixteen yeah. massive flooding. <laughs> There's twigs in the street. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the weather out here is a joke. <laughs> they broadcast it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody does that, though. They do that over... Drain no, tunnels. not as bad as California. <laughs> well, not it's because it's it's they don't have weather there. So when they do have weather, it's like yeah, big, but big You get news. sprinkles, and it's, you know, all of a sudden, it's super storm. <laughs> <laughs> Board up your windows. They might get wet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh... All right, well, let's get this show on the road. Do um, you have any hockey news, Howie? Uh, only uh, notable news is uh, Tampa Bay Lightning suspending uh, Jonathan Druin right. definitely without pay. Yeah. I don't know if he's hoping that by not uh, showing up to uh, his... AHL team that this will uh, expedite his trade request or what? Maybe. But if, but if he's suspended without pay, I mean, I don't see what it's going to expedite. They're not losing anything. Well, have you read anything on what, what Iserman is saying? No, not really. Hmm. I hadn't read anything either, so I was just wondering. But I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see. I mean, the only thing that the last rumor I saw as far as the trade is, uh, which I, I still don't really like it myself, is uh, Tampa Bay would like to get a hold of uh, Matt Dunn from Minnesota. Uh, who you broke up? Say it again. For Drone. Oh. And for who? Did you say Matt Dumba? Oh. Dumba, yeah. And I, I don't know if I really like that myself. I, I'd rather almost keep Dumba. Hmm. Well, there, there was a trade, though, today. 
What uh, trade was that? Uh, the Blackhawks and Ducks made a trade. I don't think I saw that. Uh, Garbutt for Sekic. Sek, no, you that I did not see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, yeah Garbutt. Yeah. And that was about the only thing I saw. that trade. Me. Did that happen yesterday? Uh, no, today. Today. It happened today. That's why I did not see it. Yeah. It just happened today. It just it was announced uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern time, so like in the last half hour. Yeah, something like that. So Chicago Blackhawks acquired forward Yuri Sekic from the Anaheim Ducks on Thursday in a trade for forward Ryan Garbutt. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the uh, only the only really news that I had was uh, that the All Star Weekend is coming up next week, um, the thirtieth and thirty first. Um, yeah, that'll yeah that'll be yeah, next week next weekend. Yeah, so I, I'm kind of looking forward to the skills competition for sure. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing I'm interested in is the skills competition, but yeah. the game itself, no. Well, I I just want to see how it works. I, I'm going to watch it. <laughs> I'm going to watch it because yeah. I have to see how it, it's going to work. I know it's going to be a bunch of high-scoring games. But, right. Um, I just have to see how this thing works. Yeah, I I mean, well, and, and the whole interesting thing now, which made it, more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Was uh, was Arizona sending down John Scott and yeah. then turning around and trading him? Yeah. And I guess what they've decided to do is allow him to still ma still maintain his yeah. captain role within the Pacific Division. Right. Right. But so, it's just, it doesn't matter. It's the All Star I, well, weekend. Well my, my my question though, had he stayed down in the AHL, yeah. Would they have allowed him to play? That's that I don't know. I would say that he wouldn't qualify to play. But that's would, my opinion. I mean, right? But I, I still think, I mean, now he's a representative of Montreal and the Atlantic playing within the Pacific. Well, I don't care about that. I, I really don't care about that. I mean, <laughs> right, but okay, so let let's so I don't care who he is, represents is, well, or who is he going to represent Arizona though during the skills competition and also the All-Star game or would, is he going to represent Montreal? I would say that he's going to represent the Pacific Division through the All-Star weekend. That's right, but well, because you know, normally, like on their jerseys, they'll have the logo of the team they represent. Right, so it'll be. Well, Arizona. will he have a Will he have a Pacific jersey with a Montreal Canadian no. logo? No, it'll be Arizona. But he's no longer with Arizona. Well, I I know that, but I I think it's I. Th I think because he is going to be the captain of the Pacific Division, he's going to represent the Pacific Division throughout the All-Star Game. So he's going to be, for that weekend, a coyote. <laughs> that's, All right. that's... I know it. I know it. And, and I... <laughs> I, I, has has this ever happened though before, where a player got traded to another team prior to an All Star game? I can't recall one. 
I don't know if it's ever happened or had this much, you know, controversy. Or, yeah, or you know, in the in the press like this. But I don't know. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. It's the All Star Weekend. It doesn't matter who plays for who. Especially with the it Smith doesn't Com- matter who plays for who. Uh, no, <laughs> because you know what? They all get that little award at the end. Because technically, because technically, now that he is a member of of Montreal, yeah, Arizona does not have anyone representing them in the All Star game. Well, he does. They do. And right now, for that weekend, (laughs) it will be him. I don't think he should be playing. I mean, he was voted in as a joke, as as it is anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. But now, it is what it is, and this is what they have to, they're going to have to deal with it. For this year, Howie, this is how it'll be until they change the rules next year. You may even see a different format of how the whole thing works. <laughs> next year, it'll be each... They'll do a competition through each team where they do rock, paper, scissors <laughs> and champion from each team goes. I I think that they should just if if they're going to continue with an all-star game they just they vote a, an east captain and a west captain and then pick teams <laughs> pick teams oh uh, they should they just get rid of the damn thing well, they're, they're not going to get rid of the All-Star game. Although, they can move I, the All-Star I, game and move it to the end of the season, but they're not going to get rid of the yeah. All-Star game. Although, I would like to see what what we always used to play as on our, on our card games and stuff. Yeah. And have them have an all-goon star game. That would be awesome. And you take the most penalized players from each team. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. it kind of be like WWE, I guess. You just <laughs> have, throw them all yeah. out on the ice and brawl, and then last right. man standing, that conference wins. Right. And and Howie and I did that in uh, Stratomatokaku. We had all star goon squads. They were awesome. The all goon game. Yeah, the all goon game. <laughs> Even had a logo. Remember? <laughs> uh, now. We we have to do this because it, it All Star Weekend is coming up, and as much as we're kind of a, well, I don't know, we we have to pick a winner. Okay, so there's going to be four teams. So pull up your rosters, Howie. Already, I already have my pick. I mean, I'm I'm being biased though too. Okay, so you're going to take the Central to win the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. I. I I could do that same thing, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try to. I try to look at this as realistic as possible. And I came down to two teams that I think will be in the final, and I think it's going to be the Central and Metropolitan. And. Out of those two, I lean towards the Metropolitan, although I really would, would like to see the Central win. <laughs> because I think the Metropolitan looks better on paper my, to my me. My biggest surprise out of the Metropolitan is Lundquist not getting a spot and Corey Schneider getting a, getting one. Uh, but maybe, that's a, maybe that was a Lundquist choice. I don't know why he wasn't in. Maybe maybe he didn't want to play in it. Possibly, but I think. But but look at their goaltending. Think... What they got is good. They got Holtby and Schneider. Holtby's yeah. hot right now. 
Corey Schneider's good. I think one of the best goaltending tandems in this little uh, tournament. I, don't, I mean, Gibson uh-huh. Quick is a good tandem. Gibson's good. I just, I don't, know. I don't see Gibson as an all star, though. I don't either. And that's why I don't. Well, it's, well, it's like, like I said at the beginning of the season. I mean, Anna, Anaheim, they're, they're a good team. And and I always and I and I think I said that their weakest link is is basically their goaltending because they're both yeah. young goaltenders. Yeah. The only reason they're playing so good is because of what's in front of them, and what's in front of them. Mm-hmm. And I still hold that to be true. Yeah. Um, but if you look at going back to the the tournament, if you look at the Pacific team, it's not a bad team. No, it's not a great team though either. No, I mean, I mean, they, they just look like you take John. Uh, yeah, you take John Scott out of there. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, we could have really use somebody else there, but uh, I don't know. That's why I couldn't pick the Pacific. They, they're just kind of like an okay team to me. They're not right. Like, you know, they, they could win. I don't know. They, it depends on, <laughs> you know, these scores are going to be like fifteen to, you know, to eleven. You know, it's going right. to be something crazy like that. Right. Uh, so, you know, are we really going to see much out of this, the goaltending? I, yeah, I know. That's I, I just I mean, don't think we you are. Could, you could just have backup goaltenders in there. and it wouldn't. Right. And, and that's why I don't think we're going to really see any of these goaltenders be who they are, you know. And and I wouldn't be surprised. You'll see you'll see a defenseman come out with a hat trick. Yeah, probably. So uh, I don't like, know. So I, I'm picking. I pick, yeah, I mean, if I were going to pick right now, who's okay? What defenseman's going to get a hat a hat trick? Uh, Let's see. Right uh, off the top of my head, I'd say uh, Subban. Sub- yeah, yeah. Subban. <laughs> Subban will get his hat trick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get his first career hat trick. Yeah, the there you game. go. <laughs> uh, but the Central, uh, I mean, if these guys really went out and played like they were supposed to play, I think the Central and the Metropolitan look like they're the toughest two teams. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. So I I guess I'm kind of picking the Metropolitan to win it. I I don't know. <laughs> I'm just really curious to see how this thing works, really. Right. And it, it's just going to be score fest. I mean, they may as well just put Schwinn bicycles in front of the nets and save these goaltenders. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's it. Um, the other thing I wanted to bring up was uh, last week uh, we had uh, talked about um, fighting in the NHL. I did put a uh, poll out on the website, and we did have a response. Uh, not a huge one, but you know, it was 226 responses. Um, and 94%... Well, the, the question was, should the NHL remove fighting from the game? And 94% of those said, no, do not remove fighting from the game. So I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, what? Really? Um, let's see. Let's go into our standings now, Howie. All right. Okay, but it's not fading on my board. So just... It's not fading on my board, though. No. Okay. Um, my phone just keeps ringing and ringing and ringing. It's crazy. Uh, all right. So the standings. Let's start in the east, as usual. In the Atlantic, uh, 
like uh, Florida with ooh, 57 points. Tampa Bay starting to make their – well, and Detroit. Both tied at 54. Boston at 53. Ottawa at 50. Montreal at 50. Buffalo at 42. Toronto at 41. Look how tight that's gotten. It's gotten really tight. Yeah, it is. Uh, but Tampa Bay's on a little win streak here. They've won six in a row. It, it's odd seeing Montreal sitting that low in there. Isn't division. it? I know they. <laughs> but they're not out of it. That's no, the thing. I know it. They're sitting at sixth. They were sitting at the top, what, two, three weeks ago? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the hottest team out of the division right now is Tampa Bay. Yeah, Tampa Bay. Yep. But Boston's moving up. They have a three-game winning streak going. And Ottawa. Ottawa's won their last two. Yeah. Uh, in the Metropolitan, uh, Washington with 73 points and running away with this thing. The Rangers with 55. Islanders with 54. New Jersey with 51. Pittsburgh, 49. Philadelphia, 48. Carolina, 48. And Columbus at 38. Um, Columbus is done. <laughs> uh, I don't. I still just don't get Columbus. I just. I, I don't, don't either. Don't they're, get they're done. They're they're. You look at them on paper. They're better than what they are. I yeah. I don't know what's going on there. It's, it's really uh, odd. Um, but Washington, man. Look at them. Look at their differential. A plus 55. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's insane. That's, that's insane. They're just a machine. And it reminds me of the uh, Canadians in 1970s. Yeah. Yeah, they were, a, they were a beast of a team back then. All right, in the West, Howie. Uh, West, starting in the Central, we now have a new leader upon the Central Division, which is the Chicago Blackhawks. With and six look games. at them. Look and they've at them. now won 12 straight games. Look at them. I. They have come alive. <laughs> yeah. It's just, I don't, I don't get but it. But don't count Dallas out. <laughs> don't no. count Dallas out. Uh, Dallas is in second at 63 points, tied with St. Louis at 63 points, yeah. followed by Minnesota at 52, Colorado 51, Nashville 48, Winnipeg with 45. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's Chicago. I don't, I don't know. I mean, <sighs> Minnesota's scaring me, though, right now because they've lost five in a row. And I mean, we got. Uh, yeah, but, the, you know, every team kind of goes through that little just get it done. Get yeah. it done now, and then they'll come back. Yeah, but what they need is that. They need their own 12-game winning streak. Well, yeah, those are hard to come by, though. How many teams get to do 12 games in a row? And uh, Then moving to the Pacific, uh, Kings are still on top with 61 points. Yes. I, they're going to just run away with this whole thing, I think. They're going to run away with the division. Uh, followed by San Jose and Arizona and Vancouver, all with 49 points, <laughs> followed by Anaheim with 47 yeah. And Calgary and Edmonton both put forty three. So right. it's I mean look at that, that second that place section race. Is, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, second through seventh. It's it's a second place race. Yeah, it's a second place race in that division. I mean Edmonton is in this. Yeah. You know? Yeah, they are they are in it. Yeah. They're in it. I mean, yeah, they're in a race for second place, and look, look at their differentials: minus twenty-three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you look at all the differentials in that division, and look at that. Yeah, I mean, the Ooh. only one other, you know, if you take the Kings out of there, the only one with a with a on the plus side is San Jose with a yeah. plus six. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it's a pretty rough division. Pretty weak. Pretty weak. All right, Howie. Uh, do you have anything else to add before we? Uh, ne negative. Not really. All right. So we'll uh, stop it here. So thank you all for listening and watching this show. Uh, you can catch our past shows at www. 
the Pumped Up Um On the podcast page, and you can find us, uh, well, I think all our YouTube videos are there, like the next one, this year, right? And our podcast. Uh, send us an email at John and Howie at the podcast. Uh, tweet us. Give us a like on Facebook. And we will... Oh, and also we are on uh, Hockey Talk Radio at hockeytalkradio.us which is really tough to pick up the scene now. Now we are uh, picking up the scene all the time. And new radio shows, a new show, a new program. Uh, so I'm we can check it out. Um, with that, we will catch you all next week. Enjoy the games, and uh, we will see you next week, right before the last all weekend. So we bid you all. I did. Adios.